So to pick up where I left off with the last video, I've got the final cleaning done on both cylinder heads and all the new valves are laid out here ready for installation. I have them all numbered too, so I know which spots they all have to go back in. Since these are all production 10A pieces, I'm sticking with the exhaust valve rotators like the 445 tractors had, and of course the fixed position keepers on the intake valves, and I do have the four new valve stem seals for those as well. So guys, really nothing special to talk about regarding putting valves and cylinder heads, so instead of wasting any more time talking about things, I'm just going to go ahead and get these heads assembled so we can move on to the next step. Okay, all of the valves are installed and I need to check for a proper function of the rotators and the way I'll do that is to take this hammer and just lightly tap the valve stem. Every time I hit it, I should see a little bit of circular movement happening on the exhaust valve. So that looks good. So the last bit of preparation I had to do to the cylinder heads was to get a fresh coat of prairie gold paint on the surfaces that are going to be inaccessible once these are installed. And I also got the new exhaust manifold studs threaded into position. You'll see the reason for that in a minute. I finished cleaning up the cylinder head hardware. I have the new water tube that's going to connect the two water jackets between the heads. New o-rings for it. And I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this piece by now, but again, I'm going to use the rocker carrier to assemble both of these pieces into one uh, unit, make it a lot easier to handle them and a lot easier to get them put in position on top of the engine. So I'm going to get all these pieces put together and then we will proceed with the installation process. So here it is. This is the assembly that I need to try and get placed on top of the engine. Everything is where it needs to be. I have the new coolant tube in between the heads and the new gaskets underneath the rocker carrier. I have the rocker carrier attached to the heads by the two 3H bolts right now. Temporarily snugged in, no lock washers under them in case I'm going to need to loosen them a little bit and maybe shift things around to get some of those cylinder head studs to line up with the bores in the heads. So, And just a little warning guys, you might be in for a real show watching me try and get this, uh, this assembly put on top of the engine by myself. I just did a test lift on it and it's a lot heavier than the cylinder blocks were when I placed those on and they were heavy enough as it was so we'll just see how it goes. And over here at the engine block everything is ready to go as well. I have the standpipe installed. This is what's going to carry the lubricating oil up to the rocker arms upper valve train and the head gaskets are in place so I guess uh, there's really nothing else to waste any more time talking about. Um, let's just see if we can get it put together. Okay strain them if you got them. <laughs> That'll work. Yeehaw. Okay guys, the heads are set down and in place and I'm just uh, very loosely installing the cylinder head nuts right now. Um, I'm going through this pretty quick because I always put a little bit of sealer on those O-rings that seal that coolant tube between the, uh, the heads and the blocks. So before that sets up, I need to get these in their final position. So I'm going through this kind of quick, but uh, there, got all the cylinder head nuts loosely installed. Nothing is clamped down tight yet. Um, now I'll show you why I had to put those uh, new exhaust manifold uh, studs on. Okay guys, um, since the cylinder heads obviously are two pieces, we need to make sure the two flat surfaces here are perfectly in line with one another so that we get good sealing uh, against the intake and exhaust manifold and also so we don't have uneven surface surfaces that may warp or crack the manifold when we go to tighten it down. So with all of the cylinder head nuts still loose, I'll just quickly place the manifold on the studs. I'm not going to worry about gaskets or anything. And I'll just... Uh, Get the clamp bars on, and I'll just snug the fasteners down and get the manifold so it, uh, or rather use the manifold kind of as an alignment tool to pull both those cylinder heads um, flush with one another. And then I can go and torque all the, uh, the nuts down and finalize the position of everything. 
Okay, those are tight. Just gonna check down the gasket joint here. Everything looks good. No gaps. Everything is uh, it's all flush. Now we'll torque the cylinder heads. Okay, torque spec is 95 to 100 foot-pounds. I'm just gonna start out on the low end with 95 for now. I've got the manual down here so I can follow the appropriate torque sequence. And uh, I don't ever start out at the full torque value right away. I'll, I'll sneak up on it. So I just kind of snug them first and then went about 30 foot-pounds and about 50, then about 70. And then I was confident enough to bump it up to 95. So I'll get these, all 18 of them torqued in sequence, finish off by tightening those two uh, 3 8 bolts down for the carrier and have this little part of it done. So there it is guys, little by little it's coming together looking more like an engine all the time. I finished up by getting the four studs installed that are going to uh, hold the rocker arms in place. I'll pick up right there in the next video, get all that stuff installed, adjusted, and hopefully get the rest of the covers on the crankcase and have this thing sealed up. One last detail I want to leave you with. When we first took X231 apart, we found someone had made this wooden plug to seal this opening in the water jacket on this back cylinder head. And that is one thing we're not going to leave intact, for not even for originality's sake. I got a factory correct uh, plug that goes in here. It's one of those that presses in with the aid of an o-ring gets that all sealed up So I might keep this just because it's uh, it's kind of neat, but definitely not getting reused So as always guys, thanks for watching like and subscribe. Hope to see you back next time There we go and we're hung up Oh, there it went. And we're hung up. It's all right. That'll work. Yeehaw. Yep. Had a little bit of trouble setting it in place, but that's no problem. I'll just edit that part out. Make them think everything I do goes just perfectly the first time through, which it does every time, 60% of the time. It'll be great.